mall. I've arrived at the mall and I'm right outside the body shop. So I'm gonna go in there and just kind of browse and see um, if there's anything new that I'm interested in. So I didn't go in yet because as I was walking and waiting there, I ended up turning in the other way and I saw like a group of people. And apparently, I guess, I knew them all from grade nine, but I was like, oh my God, like, I don't even think that like, they like, like me, but <laughs> they like waved and I was like, I, I don't know, they probably thought I was someone else, but I don't know. It was still cool to see people. So I didn't realize how hungry I was until I passed the food court. So I'm just here getting some uh, fries real quick. So I just got a fry and gravy and I didn't realize how large the regular was until I got it, but they just put the gravy in a little thing, which is kind of good. So if I couldn't find a spot, then uh, they wouldn't go soggy. But like, there's like no, I mean, like, there's people here, but like there's hardly any like free available tables, which is not very shocking because it's usually like this um, even before tables were restricted. So I'm just gonna finish these and then maybe find somewhere to go. Okay, I love this shirt. It doesn't go well with my pants because then it's like all black. <laughs> I feel like this would look really cute with a pair of like maybe acid wash jeans or like light blue ripped jeans. So I'll have to maybe find some in another store because I don't really like jeans here or I might just have to go through my own and find a pair that I think would look good with this out of my own wardrobe. Okay, I love this shirt. It says, save the world, raise a flower child. Um, it's really loose, but then when I lift up my arms, it shows my stomach, but then if I get a smaller size, it'll be even like worse. So I'm already wearing my larger size that works good with me, but um, I feel like I'll just get it anyway because it'll be a nice sleeve shirt. Hey everybody, so um, I'm back from the mall, obviously. Um, it's been a couple hours, I've been home for a bit. Um, been really excited to unbox these purchases. Um, I was just watching one of my favorite old movies, or not old, it's only like 10 years old, um, just Grown Ups, that one was great. Um, it's only about halfway through because I wanted to get this video in. So I'm just gonna start by showing off this Too Faced foundation I got. Um, I did get in a little bit of trouble because I was putting some on my hand. It's still on there, I think, but I can't even see the difference anymore because um, it's been on for so long. And, uh, yeah, I, um, like, the woman came over and was like, sorry, you can't use the testers, and I kind of, like, forgot, and I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, do you want to, like, take this and sanitize it? I used, I tested the shade Almond, and then she took it. But this claims that it's, um, a super coverage, so it's just the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, thank god. But yeah, that's, that's a lot. But I see this all the time, and I never try it when I'm in Sephora, so I thought that I would try it. I forget how to twist this. I kind of forgot. Oh, it just went on my leggings. It's gonna have a little stain on there now, I think. Great. I'll have to go and get some resolve on that right after the video. So I'm gonna test this one because I didn't end up buying the one that I tested. I bought, it was a pump one, so it was a foundation. And I have a million tiny little fingerprints on here now um, from testing out that concealer. Great. We just, oh. Okay, let me just kind of wipe that, or I'm gonna set this down on the floor. Let me rub that in. So it's not a bad match. I'd say it's a little bit wider than what I had on before. Like I'm looking at the comparison and I can see uh, when it's beside the, um, because I put it right beside where I tested the other one in store and I can see the difference that it's a lot um, lighter than the darker one that I tried in store. And then when it's beside my natural skin color, it's a little bit closer, it's just a little bit paler, but better than having it too dark. So I guess that's kind of a plus. So I guess it's sort of a benefit this time. Much better than that um, Tarte one that I tried that was way too dark. So yeah, I'm excited to wear this outside. So I have the U.S. Saint Laurent Mascara Volume in just black, I'm pretty sure. I meant to get it in black, let me just check. Make sure I actually got it in the right color. Yep, yeah, high density black. I thought it said intensity, but it says density. So it just looks like this. I love the packaging. Um, it's just gold and silver, and then it has like the 
Yves Saint Laurent. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong, but um, it just has that uh, look to it. It almost kind of looks like an electronic cigarette. <laughs> I'm gonna just take this out. I love unboxing makeup for the first time, especially new makeup. So it just kind of has uh, a little fluffy kind of brush. I don't know. It kind of smells like baby wipes to me. I'm just gonna put it back in. I don't really feel like testing it because I don't have a mirror with me right now. Going to set that on the floor. <laughs> Maybe not the best idea. So now for the not more exciting, but still exciting portion. I just got this shirt. I showed everything in the uh, dressing room, but it says save the world to raise a flower child, which I thought was kind of cute, but um, it felt nice on me. But like I was saying, it was loose, kind of like this is loose what I'm wearing right now, but it was just not the comfortable loose. Like it was like the, the loose fit, but then like, oh, my stomach's still showing, which I didn't like. Like I thought like if it's gonna be big and loose, let it be big and loose all over. I guess I don't have uh, the same opinion, so that's maybe why companies make it that way and not the way that I like. So then I have this tie-dye shirt that I was saying um, I could wear if I wanted to be a hippie for Halloween or maybe even hula girl, I just need a grass skirt and then maybe, I don't know, something to put in my hair. So it just says um, Palm Springs, California, or just C-A-L-I-F, period. <laughs> um, well, I've, I've had many ideas for Halloween this year. Like. I was watching a video like 100 last minute Halloween costumes in five minutes or something. And then one of them was Britney Spears in the outfit that she wore in um, the One More Time video, the Hit Me Baby One More Time. And I really liked it. And that's what I was gonna do. And then I was like, no, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be basic, wear a red shirt, jeans and devil horns. But I was like, no, every girl did that last year. So then I was like, no, I'm gonna be a cat. And I'm gonna wear like a leopard print top, black, a black skirt or black shorts and cat ears and maybe cat nylons, like um, leopard print nylons. And then I was like, hey, no, every girl does that. So now I'm like, okay, maybe I'll be a hippie. Maybe I'll be a cat, I don't know. So then here I have this shirt. It almost looks like a band t-shirt. It's got flowers, like it's not a band shirt, but in my opinion, in the dressing room, it kind of had the look, it, I don't know why. Call me crazy, but it kind of reminded me of, um, one of the Pink Floyd album covers, just with the colors and stuff, just the black background and whatnot. I liked it a lot though. So this was definitely a plus. I'm glad that I bought this. The only thing was I couldn't find it in the higher size because it was a little bit tight in the armpits. So for the Bath and Body Works part, I just got a bunch of little hand cream. So I'm gonna start with the Black Cherry Merlot. I've had this scent before, but I'm gonna test it out again. Ooh, this is a little bit strong for me. It smells like cherry Coke, but just way stronger. Like it's almost too much for me. It doesn't even have the lotion smell. It's just straight, like too strong. It's, I tried the black cherry Merlot hand sanitizer when I was in the car a few days ago after I was done pumping gas because I wanted to sanitize after pumping gas. And that was kind of what it was like. It just, ugh, just it filled my car with the smell and I didn't like it. So next I have graphite, which is the men's collection. And I don't think I'm gonna use all these hand creams for me. Yeah, but definitely has the man smell. It smells a lot like Axe. But yeah, I'm thinking I'm, I'm starting my Christmas shopping early. I know it's not even Halloween yet. I think it's October 17th, but I don't know. I just, I like Christmas and like, yeah, I'll admit like I like receiving gifts and all, but like I love spoiling people and buying them really good gifts. So this year I'm getting people like a lot of stuff. That's why I'm starting now. Especially because Amazon Prime Day, so there's a lot of good sales. But yeah, this does smell good, and it actually does have that lotion scent to it, like the hand cream scent, you know? Um, but I can still tell that it has an actual scent added to it, but it definitely smells like a guy. So this one is paraffin mint. Who knows, I might have to keep this one for myself. I'm actually having trouble smelling it because I have like mint gum in my mouth right now, so who knows. So I can smell it. Um, it has a bit more of like a spearmint to it. I don't really know how to explain it, but it smells amazing. I don't know what the scent is. I 
It almost smells like the Kaleidoscope perfume or body mist that they have. I can't explain the scent. It reminds me of something that I've smelled years ago, but I do love this scent. It's very mild and not overpowering like the Black Cherry Merlot, so that's definitely a plus. So then I have the Gingham, the Shea Butter Hand Cream. They don't really let you smell stuff or touch a lot of stuff in there. Like they're very restrictive on that, but I do understand why. So I don't even know what this smells like. I've just been very um, excited to try it though. So this smells great. I don't know what it smells like. It does have the lotion scent to it. Obviously it's a hand cream, it's a lotion, whatever, but I don't know what this smells like. It almost smells like sweet pea or like a flower, but not like a citrus, just like a flower. I mean, I don't really know what gingham smells like because it's a pattern. So, I mean, what can you expect, right? I did like that one though, a lot. So last I have In the Stars, I don't really remember much about what this one smells like, but I do remember that I liked it because I got it as a stocking stuffer in the mini body mist last Christmas. So we'll see. Yes, this one's great. I don't know what it smells like though. It just has that smell of, I don't know, it just smells like body wash. I don't know. See, I don't know. It smells amazing. I just don't really know how to explain it. It doesn't have the lotion smell at all, but um, I love this one a lot. I mean, I can't really be like, yeah, it smells like in the stars because that's not really a scent. I don't know. <laughs> just gonna set that down. So that's basically it for this haul. I am very happy to buy the, all this stuff. And uh, on a little side note, today on Amazon, I um, a lot of my stuff came in, a lot of my packages, and I got a big bag of all these Swiss Delice chocolates. Um, it didn't come in this bag, it came in another bag, but it was very flimsy plastic. And as I was holding it, after I ripped it open, it kind of, it tore open and they all fell out. So I just put it in this giant freezer bag, measuring it to my face. But yeah, it's huge. Um, just thought I would uh, mention that. I don't know, it's kind of like the highlight of my day except for going to the mall. So I'm gonna go and put stain remover on these leggings and maybe uh, tidy up the uh, filming room. I don't know, as you can see, I have a new bedspread instead of the plaid one that I always use. So that's cool, because I've been a little bit obsessed with uh, duvet covers lately. So I thought I would buy one and I also bought a second one for um, when I'm, I have this one being washed. So that's basically it for this small haul. Just do everything that um, small YouTubers want you to do to support them by liking the video, subscribing, and hitting the bell icon so you don't miss future videos.